nice. So currently we are at uh, Redstone Subway Station. Let's walk over here and pick up a couple supplies. So you're probably noticing there's these breakable boxes. If you've played RE7, I'm sure you've seen them. Um, kind of weird to put just a few bullets in a box, but hey, I guess I shouldn't judge. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this is the knife. Uh, I'm sure you guys have noticed. It is, this time, it doesn't have any durability, so you can just stab away whatever, whatever you like. Oh, I am not... You guys have probably noticed that. I know you guys. I know RE fans. They always pick up on everything. I I'm not going to be showing what that is for. <laughs> Alright, let's... I think we got everything in here. So let's try to head out into the dangers. Going to mix up a couple of things. Make sure that I am ready. train moving. Oh, a first zombie. Can I dodge him? No, but that's okay because I got to show off uh, this ability now that exists in the game where if you get grabbed by a zombie, uh, you can mash the X button to kind of shake him off quicker and it'll also do less damage. Sorry, I'm a little bit nervous. So you can kind of do this to avoid zombies. You kind of dodge out of their general range. And you do this by pressing R1. You kind of you can direct it in any direction you like as well. Oh, there you go. I got the dodge. I also got a perfect dodge right there. So because the perfect dodge is really good because um, let's say that you're in a tricky situation. You'll get up much quicker. You'll be able to then decide, do you want to shoot immediately, or do you just kind of want to run away? Oh! <laughs> nice. Well, he's not going to be getting up. Alright. Let's move on here. Here's someone having a nice snack over there. Honestly, I really like this um, this mechanic where you can kind of shake zombies off when you get bit because that was always one of my first instincts when I played RE2 Remake is um, you kind of spam buttons as you get grabbed. So it's kind of good that something actually happens when you do that now. Well, let's take a look around Raccoon City. One of the things that struck me first was how amazing this game looks. like. There's so much light. The game looks very vibrant. There's still, you know, it, this is one day. This is approximately one day before RE2 Remake. So obviously, September 28th, most of the power grids were still up, and you still had some semblance of a city. All right, let's go over here real quick. We'll talk, I'll show you guys more in a bit. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you. <laughs> tall drink of water. Well... Well, I mean, Jill is highly flammable so uh, there there's no way we're going through there today okay okay chat sorry speaking of that let's take a look at jill as well oh god that that thing gives me nightmares by the way that is nightmare fuel <laughs> um let's take a look at jill so this is also something that really struck me the most when i played this uh the first time when i kind of saw jill she looks amazing she really does have that OG semblance of the original RE3 Jill, but obviously she's 
a bit redesigned. Her her outfit is maybe a bit more practical for a situation where you would be, you know, <laughs> fighting for your for your life and trying to escape from ravenous zombies. So uh, I, I do like her redesign a lot. I don't know. I'm trying to show you guys, but she also has her stars badge here. You can see it right there in the in the bottom left of her by her hip. So yeah, I I love Jill's redesign. Oh, we got trouble. Oops. Well, good thing there is a conveniently placed barrel right next to these zombies <laughs> coming. <laughs> All right, we got rid of those guys. Let's check out. Let's check out this uh, this can this supermarket. Umbrella noodles. 845 uh, I don't know about you guys but that seems that seems kind of expensive to me but anyone anyone want some umbrella noodles I don't know man I don't know And then if you are uh, Resident Evil fans I'm sure you'll recognize that beer that's on that's being advertised there Actually I thought that was Leon for a sec he does look a lot like Leon but I don't think it is I, I think uh, Leon is very much focusing on his law enforcement career uh, tomato? That, that's nightmare fuel right there. <laughs> okay. If anyone's curious, by the way, this is being, because I see some people asking what system we're playing it on. This is being played on a PlayStation 4. Blue Mountain. Ah, that's really cool. So this was also something in the original RE3. Um, the Blue Mountain storehouse is the area that Jill comes out in the first first in the original RE3. It's where she meets Dario. So it's really cool to see this, you know, all these details. Like, if you really take a look around the environments, you can tell the dev team has paid so much attention to the rest of the RE, um, the RE universe. Gems, crabs? All right. I did not even notice you, lady. <laughs> Let's try to take her out first. I was I was busy looking at Jim's crabs. God, I shouldn't say that on stream. <laughs> Just trying to get through. Excuse me, fellas. Excuse me. Oh my goodness, I, I can see that my practice has not uh, paid off very well. I wanted to show you guys something else here. Hold on. I just need these guys to come down. Take this. Ah, oh, they're slow. Well, I mean, what do you expect? They're zombies, right? Dancing zombies! Yeah, so you have these generators you can shoot as well, which is very helpful. Very helpful. All right, let's let's leave them. Go in here to Moon's Donuts for just a second. Oh, you guys hear that? I'm sure you guys recognize that if you've played the original RE2. Nice, very nice. Yeah, the environments honestly look gorgeous in this game. And as you can tell... Actually, let's let's get back to that in a sec. Hold that thought, chat. Hold that thought. So this is something we do not have yet. We can't open this. But we can go in here! You guys hear this? Very nice. Save room theme. Free from fear.
What do you guys think is in this box? Any guesses? Hmm? If anyone says Jill sandwich, I'm, I'm just ending the stream. <laughs> All right. Any guesses? Oh my goodness. Wow. No, no demo. No, sorry. It's just a gem. But I'm not going to tell you what that's for. Let's actually put it away. So it doesn't take up some space. And I think there's a green herb in here as well. Nice. It, I definitely need it this time. <laughs> Gem sandwich. Good one. I, I saw that one. I saw that one, chat. Okay. Let's go out here for a sec to the other side. Got a fast one. <laughs> I'm taking so much damage today. I apologize. All right, let's just get this heal out of the way. There we go. And then let me see if I can get some nice. Okay, that happened. That works. It's okay. There's a barrel right here. Come over here. Let's take him out. Nice and easy. Line up, line up. Oh, one of them is walking away. Where's he going? Alright, that's fine. So yeah. Um, barrels. Your best friend in this game. There's, n there's not too many of them, I promise. Alright, nice. Ah! Kite Bros Railway. Sorry, we're not gonna stop in there to- Oh, goodness. We're not gonna stop in there today. Um, but I'm sure if you are an Ari fan, you recognize the name. Um, not gonna go there till April 3rd, unfortunately. So yeah, as, as I was trying to say earlier... Oh yeah, here's the pharmacy as well. Ooh! But, you can tell the door is open, but I'm, I'm not going to go in there. I'm not going to go in there. I'm trying to keep the element of surprise for you guys. Sorry. <laughs> it's tempting. But no. Hey, sleeping guy on the ground. I think we could just head up here now. Um, so yeah, w I, I know I haven't um, done a fantastic job of demonstrating it today, but the dodge here in the game, uh, some of the things you can do like mash off enemy grabs, y you can you, you still take damage, but you shake them off much quicker and you end up taking a lot less damage than you could have. So, uh, and the barrels and the shootable objects, these things are all very necessary for the slightly more, I want to say, intense gameplay of RE3 Remake. Um, you know, RE2 maybe didn't need them. RE3 definitely will. Also, there's a guy here trying to be careful. I'm trying to see if I can, like, show the dodge a couple more times. Not like that. Not like that. <laughs> it's all about timing. You have to... Uh, the dodge... In order to execute the dodge, um, you have to wait till right as the enemy is about to attack you. Like so. And then you press R1 and hold the directional button, like the left stick. So it's a very fine and precise 
uh, movement, and I'm sure there's so many speedrunners and other people out there who are just analyzing everything I'm trying to do and trying to break down the speedrun strats right now, <laughs> but... Alright. We, we're not gonna do the save today. Nope. We're gonna leave it alone. April 3rd, chat, April 3rd. Um... Oh yeah, I know wh what we can do next. I know what we can do next. So I think we got everything here. Uh, if I'm sure the headphone users that are listening to this right now can really appreciate the ambient sound, by the way. Uh, you can kind of hear gunshots in the distance and you can hear like the final struggles as the city is slowly dying. It's it's really creepy and uh, yeah. This this game is definitely utilizing the RE engine to its fullest. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I think we got some company here. Hungry. You uh do your thing. Snack away. Oh <laughs> Oh god, Jill! Mind your distance! So yeah, you can as you can see there's gonna be several little paths and alleyways you can take to get to places where we're right back um, where we started. Right back where we started by Toy Uncle, Jim's Crabs and the Umbrella Noodles and Blue Mountain Storage. That kind of looks like the... Oh god, that... Uh, there's something really menacing about that. I don't know why. There's something really menacing about the head up there. I feel like something's gonna happen. Alright, let's play around with the zombies a bit more uh, before we end the stream. Like I said, this would be a very short stream. Um, I've gotten to show off some of the fundamental basics of the gameplay, at least. I just want to see if I can have something else interesting happen. There you go, I think he's down. Can we practice the dodge on you, Lady Zombie? That'd be nice. Not like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, there's another guy. There's a friend. There's a friend. Careful. I'm not getting lucky with the dodges today. Not that it has anything to do with luck. It has all to do with skill. I'm just clearly lacking it today. There we go. Alright. That's enough, that's enough. I I'm not feeling brave anymore. Uh, let's hide inside of Moon's Donuts, because we all know that zombies do not like donuts for whatever reason. <laughs> but yeah, the dodge is really fun. Like I said, it gives you an opportunity to plan ahead as for what you're going to do. Um, you know, will you shoot immediately and take out whatever's in front of you? Will you use it as an opportunity to get out of the tight spots and run? Um, yeah, the shootable objects are nice, just kind of something to help you along the way, but you will still very much need to watch your ammo and be very careful with ammo management, just like any other RE game. Uh, but yeah, trust me, you're, you're, you're gonna need this slightly more intense gameplay for what's ahead. 